Hey y'all, my name is Rachel. Welcome to my butterfly garden. I garden on the Gulf Coast in zone 9A and I'm just going to show y'all around today. I'm going to show y'all how I water my garden. I'm sure some of y'all are going to have a problem with it. And I'm also going to tell y'all about some of the pansies that I sowed from seed in my pots. And uh, I'm going to show y'all some crazy lizard action and uh, just a little silent tour of the garden. So y'all come along. I've got to remember to sow pansies sooner. Um, I think I ended up planting these in December and I would have loved to have more time with them. They're just now getting so beautiful and I wanted to show y'all how big these are. Look, look at how big that is. Is that not incredible? They are so lovely. I got these seeds from Etsy actually. I'm going to show you the package. Here's the package. They're called Pansy Pink Viola. I can't pronounce that. But um, got them on Etsy and I really, really enjoyed them. They're just so beautiful. The other three kinds of pansies that I planted are these. This, uh, and I got them from Outside Pride. Uh, Pansy Frizzle Sizzle Raspberry. Pansy Frizzle Sizzle Blue, and then Clear Crystals Black. Ugh, and they're really neat. I'm going to show them to you. This is the Frizzle Sizzle Blue. And don't they have the sweetest little faces? And don't you just love the colors? Oh, so vibrant. And the Frizzle Sizzle um, Raspberry has got some kind of different colorations in it because there's this bright well not bright but dark red and then there's this this one right here and you know I, I don't know if this came out of the same seed packet because I kind of did sprinkle them all in these pots when I planted the bulbs and these cr clear crystal black have come up last they're the latest ones to flower but they are just so dark and lovely. Isn't that fun? I think I got a thousand of the seeds with this one and with the other ones not as many so I threw these around all over the yard. Yeah you can see I got 50 of the frizzle sizzle raspberry, 50 of the frizzle sizzle blue, and then a thousand of the Creel clear crystals black. So that was a generous amount. I would definitely recommend these. And I would actually recommend this too. I was surprised, you know, I didn't know what to expect from getting seeds from Etsy, but apparently it's a good deal. I have a few little things in the front here that are growing from seed that I hope don't get dug up by the armadillo. That right there is calendula. See that little thing? And hopefully it'll get about two or three um, feet tall. And then right beside it on the left is Penta that's coming back from last year. The salvia is coming back from last year. And then of course I planted out those um, pansies right there. And I cut back the salvia right here so that the roses would have more space. And oh yeah, this is a really cool, and it's native. And I threw these seeds out, well, a couple of months ago. I might have even shown y'all throwing them out but um this is jewels of opar it's such a delicate little little plant let's get in here closer so you can see these flowers and the seeds are on these little beads right here but i really appreciate this plant and i hope that a lot more of it's going to grow in the garden this year i threw seeds out everywhere because um I don't, I usually don't plant seeds. I just like to throw them out. So this is what it looks like when it starts growing from seed. And I was told that the leaves are edible. I haven't tried to eat them. Oh, and this is actually pansies right here that are growing up with it because I threw those out too. That's probably those black pansies. Oh, here's some of those black pansies that are just coming up. They're just starting to flower. Man, I want a ton of them next year. I'm going to order a whole lot more. I'm just now reading, rereading um, 
Anne of Ingleside and in it she comes home and it's spring and the whole yard is filled with pansies and just makes me so happy to think of Anne with her pansy filled yard. Um, somebody asked me what this plant was and that is Creeping Jenny and I'm planning on planting it all around these stone paths here. I've got some that grew in a pot from last year and well right here I did have a pot right here and you can see the circle like right there that's where the pot was and the Creeping Jenny it grew over the edge of the pot and then it grew along the ground and when it was time for me to move the pot I just clipped it and left it growing there. So I have some in the pot and um, I'm going to cut it in half maybe even in four so I'm going to show you where I have it right here in these two pots I'm going to take that and divide it probably probably into fourths and then plant this creeping Jenny along this stone path right here and I'm going to fill this grass part in with mulch um, so that there won't be any more grass we're just going to have ground cover and y'all I have been seeing hummingbirds drinking from this black and blue salvia like crazy I would totally recommend it and it did kind of do a thing that one of my other salvias does and I don't know how it but it broke off right here so you can see I've got kind of a naked spot right here but that's good because here I've got sun patients coming back and they needed a little bit of light and then I've got mm, is it Duranta Datura Ugh. oh I can't remember I've got to label things but um this I don't know if I showed y'all this this is really fun this is called mountain mint and uh, it's gonna have these little sweet flowers on it this stuff well just like mint anywhere will grow like crazy and I'm loving it right here in this under the orange tree it smells so good it's a very different kind of mint scent and I've got some other mint in the back there I just I guess I'm just gonna turn this into the mint bed because here is some apple mint I'm sorry I called it something else last time but this is apple mint and I have it growing all in here along with some curled leaf parsley I've got tons of blooms on the orange tree you can see and I did get my sense of smell back thank God it took about two weeks that was devastating for me to not be able to smell things uh, just just heart heart wrenching and I didn't know if you know I would get it back but I did so I'm just so thankful to be able to smell all these wonderful smells so now it's just gonna be kind of a waiting game I do have some more seeds that I'm gonna throw out and I'm going to mulch this a little bit better and we just gotta let this stuff fill in but this is that Biden's it's pink so there's Biden's Alba that is it says native it grows like a weed and I've got it growing in the front yard and it's true butterflies love it they really do yeah, I bet this thing is gonna self seed like crazy and you know what I, I'm gonna let it because I've recently learned that you can cut it back and I'll have to be able to do that otherwise we can't let it grow but this right here is something that came back from seed that I'm super excited about um, right now I can't tell you what it is but later later so I was going to show y'all just kind of a silent view of the garden and then also how I water the garden and some lizard action but that's that's what it's looking like right now today I just remembered what these seedlings are it's love in a mist or nigella and I think it's gonna be blue hopefully 
the squirrels and the armadillos and everything we'll leave it alone oh one more thing i wanted to show y'all do y'all see this sunflower right here we have literally watched this thing grow because about maybe it was a week and a half ago to two weeks it was under these bird feeders and now look at it it has grown that's that's like a foot and a half right there look at that it's grown over the bird feeders it's insane how quickly it's grown but it's so funny because the little birdies now they'll come and they'll sit on it and wait their turn or fuss at the ones that are hogging it um i do enjoy feeding them they like to go and sit in the lemon tree and wait their turn and then come over here i hear some doves right now they're <laughs> angry with me for being out here this is how i water the garden i just put one of these little sprinklers right here set it up so that everything gets hit by the water and let it run for about an hour and everything gets like a good drench There was a time when I would hand water everything because they do say don't water from overhead, but ain't nobody got time for that. tasty lunch. I'm not going to pester him anymore because I don't want him to drop his lunch and lose it. Oh, Hens does not like me. Hens like, get away! Look, and he's squeezing the poop out of that roach. Yum. passion on the passion flower vine today there was another there were two um, anole lizards over here and I don't know if it was a turf war or if one of them was trying to mate with the other one and that one didn't want to do what, whatever they wanted to do but um I think I've run them off which I'm very sad about because it was very much like a soap opera
thanks y'all for coming with me and walking around in my garden with me. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And I can't wait to hear about what y'all are doing in your gardens. Y'all have a fabulous week. I'll see you next Sunday.